Hey guys, Asher here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can have random pause music in Friday Night Funkin'. Now, a few mods have done this, like Mario's Madness, that's about the only one I can generally think of. Uh, so, in this video, um, this is going to be done completely in Lua. So, yeah, it means pro, f pro for me, because I can upload it as a script that you guys can download, as usual. The uh, Game Banana tool will be linked down below. And I, first of all, I need to say thank you for helping get the um, tool I made previously. I think it was the, um, I'm trying to think what tool it was now. Yeah, the uh, mid-song cutscene. Uh, you might actually manage to get that onto the featured page of Game Banana, so I can't thank you guys enough. But uh, try and do the same with this one. I want to completely take over Game Banana with all my tools. Um, but yeah, in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can have random... Uh, random pause music that changes every time you bring up the pause menu. So first of all, what you're gonna to want to do is make a, a folder called sounds if you don't already have it. I already made it, and then what you wanna do is you're gonna to want to put your multiple OGG files into there. I'm just using the Mario's Madness OGG files because I can't be, uh, can't be bothered to make my own music because I'm not a composer, I'm a coder. So now we're gonna do what I can do, code. So we're going to go to here, into scripts. This isn't a custom event, this is a script, so because it will run in game time. We're going to go ahead, create a new text document. We're going to go ahead and call it uh, win pause uh, music dot lua. And let's go ahead and open up our pause music, like so. And so, first of all, this is going to be a lot more simpler, because what this one does is it iterates through an array, so it makes changing everything a lot more easier. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and make our array. Let's call it local sound info. So we're going to go ahead and make our array, and inside the array, we're going to put a sound. We're going to call the sound breakfast1. And then we're going to set some other variables for later on. We're going to set a variable named menu. And we're going to set that variable to menu first. And now what we're going to do is put a comma on the end. So we can add in the rest of our sound files. So what, what would be easier is if you just go ahead and copy this. Press enter, paste. And then simply just edit it so it's breakfast 2. And then we change this to menu 2nd. And then we paste it again, and we change this to breakfast three, and we change this to menu third. But since this is the last one, you take away the comma. If you have any more to add, all you simply do is you just press enter, add the new sound file there. But we don't, so we're gonna keep it as it is. And now we're gonna set the on pause function. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, on pause, what this does is this will call the script once we press enter to pause the game. So we're going to go ahead and set a random in a index. So we're just going to call this random index. We're going to get random int. Get a random integer. We're going to set the integer to 1. So from between 1 to every single available term in the array. So this means it's simpler as another way to code it would just be a bunch of if statements but what this does is since it iterates to our array it means it means you, basically if you want to add any song instead of adding first of all a new item to the array and then an if statement you just add a single item to the array and it will be included. So now we're going to go ahead and hang on okay like this and then we're going to go ahead and make a local selected sound what this does is this will be the random pause menu that gets selected so we're going to set it to sound info which as you know is our array and then we're going to base we're going to get a random value from our index to set it and now we're going to go ahead and play sound we're just going to set it to selected sound dot sound what this does is it triggers the sound 
then we're going to set the volume to 1 and we're also going to reference so what this does is it selects so it starts the sound and it also takes into account the menu variable so we're going to do selected sound dot menu and then we can end now you may be you may be saying but astro what is the point of having menu i'll show you now so what we're going to do is we're going to use a function for on resume so what this will do is when we go ahead and press enter on resume to go back to the game it will either it will basically stop all of the pause music so the easiest way to do this is just go through the entire array so for underscore comma info in i pairs our array sound info do stop sound and then we put in our tag info dot menu like this and then we need to also go ahead and just simply end our what do you call it uh, function so now that we have everything in here as we should we're going to go ahead and save and we will test it out in game so we're going to go back we are going to go to our to the bin we're going to load into exe show or your mod in this case we're going to open it up like this let me turn it down slightly and we're going to go to free play we're going to go down to law awesome mix or any song in particular we're going to wait for all our scripts to load and when i hit pause it's playing this i pause again it plays a different song And as you can see, when we exit or when we resume, the music stops. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, next video, um, I might show you guys how to have uh, custom game over lines. It, it, it's exactly similar to this, but except it's more like weeks, when you die in week 7, uh, Tankman will give a random quote to you. Um, I'm going to attempt to recreate this. Um, if you look forward to that, please subscribe. As the more of you that subscribe to this channel, uh, the more I will do coding. And the more that these videos get popular, um, the more happier I'll be. Um, yeah, if you guys have any concerns with any of the coding, don't hesitate to either message me on Discord, message me on Game Banana, or comment down below and I'll see if I can fix your issue. With that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Astronomical. Eight.